Hello everybody, welcome to the UNICAD channel. Uh, today I would like to introduce you to a new UNICAD vehicle. It's called EX74HD. It means the body is 7.4 meters long and it has a lifting roof. The body is based on a MAN TGS 6x6 chassis with uh, 560 horsepower and 2800 newton meters of talk. The truck runs on 16.00 Michelin tires. It has run flats inside and it also has a central tire inflation system. Let me first show you the outside of the truck and the garage in the back, which is a really special item on this vehicle. Let's have a little tour around the vehicle and let me show you what we have installed underneath the body. In this rear storage box, for example, we have an outside kitchen with a propane grill, which pulls out all the way. We have hot and cold shower to pull out. And to use for the kitchen, we have a small basin. In this little area, we have uh, the hydraulic valves and uh, access points. And uh, between the axles, here we have another storage for tools, gloves, whatever you need outside. Here in front of the entrance area, we have the exhaust system, which we have relocated to that place. And here <clears throat> we have uh, the main fuel tank, which holds 280 liters. And we have access to the uh, outside shower, another outside shower, uh, to city water, to the winterization uh, system, uh, here we have air supply and here we have pressure filling of the water tanks. In this location we have the hydraulic tank for the rear axle steering system which is separate from the other hydraulic systems. Uh, we have a fuel transfer pump to transfer fuel from the auxiliary tank into the main tank. Um, here we have a pump for the generator. Here we have a uh, a water separator and pre-filter for the engine and here we have adjusters for the heating system so they also work in high altitudes. Also in this storage box we have the high pressure gun and the hose and the quick coupling uh, so you can use uh, the high pressure washer outside. Um, we also have uh, more storage in this area, big storage area here, another one here. This is for a ladder to access the roof and this is for whatever else you want to use it for. Um, the, all these reels you want to use while the storage box is closed. And that's why we have an opening here with a, with a fair lead. So you can take the wire out. You just pull it here, um, put it here, close this and close this. Like on the other side, 
we have a small storage area here between the axles and we have a large outside storage area inside the body. In front of the rear axles, in this area, we have the generator. It's a, a Panda 15 water-cooled diesel generator, which provides 13.4 kilowatt, and it's really easy accessible. Um, then uh, next to it, we have the AdBlue tank, and then we have another 400 liter fuel tank, which is the auxiliary tank. So here on the back of the vehicle, we have a huge garage opening. And uh, on this garage door, we have installed uh, two spare tires, the sand ladders, and another bracket for the sand ladders. So if you are using the sand ladders all the time, you don't want to put them up here. So you want to put them back on the truck easily to go and have to use them probably again. So then you, you take these out and here you can put the sand ladders on and it's easy on and off. Uh, um, but this is a parking position um, to uh, not compromise the angle of departure. Of course, we have a rear underwrite guard, but this is a retractable uh, rear underwrite guard. So it goes on inside all the way. Uh, so that also this one doesn't compromise the rear uh, angle of uh, departure. To open the garage door, we have a hydraulic system and the remote control. So we push the button and the platform comes down. and it automatically stops in the horizontal position. In the horizontal position, you can use this area as a platform, and it's also the position in which you can lower the spare tires. The spare tires are also lowered by a hydraulic system, so they go down all the way to the floor, and then you can take the wheel away uh, to change it. To access the garage and uh, to load and unload a vehicle, uh, we of course have to lower the platform even more, which we just do by another push of a button. So, and now we have a, a slope here, which allows us to load a vehicle. For easy access, we have a panel which closes the gap here and then we have a custom built ladder like everything is custom built here and uh, that allows you to go in easily. Now we are in the garage of the vehicle. As you can see, it's a really big garage and it has space for a Polaris side by side and two e-bikes left and right. And also all the technical equipment of the vehicle is installed here on the sides in these uh, areas which are ventilated. For the Polaris, we have these supports to secure it when it's inside and to get it in and get it out, we have a winch mounted here on the floor. As a Polaris, like almost every car, has an engine hood and a windshield. We have a lot of space in this front area, which we have used for technical equipment. For example, in this compartment here, we have the hot water and cold water distribution. We have a heating system for the garage 
and we have an expansion tank installed uh, and all this is perfectly accessible. On the right side of the garage we have technical installations and uh, here we have the water pumps and below the water pumps we have a compartment with uh, six AGM batteries. Four of them are for the chassis and two of them are for the generator. There is another technical compartment here uh, which contains an air compressor and a hydraulic pump for the lift of the rear door. All these compartments are uh, with, a, with a glass so you can see the equipment and it's also easy accessible. You just open two, uh, two locks and you can remove the panel and work on the units if needed. On the left side we have another technical compartment here also with glass and of course it's unbreakable glass and behind this one you see three temperature gauges uh, one is for the hot water temperature and the other two are for the temperatures inside the technical compartments and um, these units also control the fans and uh, the heating system uh, and you can adjust the temperatures here very easily. In these lower compartments here we have all the equipment which is necessary for the DC and AC uh, power supply for the vehicle. In this first compartment uh, you see all the, the really huge wires which are all fused and um, where the shunts are mounted and everything is again visible, easy accessible and uh, serviceable. In this compartment we have two inverters and chargers. Each has uh, 5 kilowatt output, so we have a nominal output of 10 kilowatt uh, AC power and um, the maximum is like uh, 15 kilowatt. Uh, we also have uh, independent battery chargers here which accept any voltage from 90 to 260 volt and any frequency from 45 to 65 cycles. So these chargers will be able to charge the batteries at any place on this planet. And uh, with these chargers we charge the batteries and from the batteries we take the power to the inverters and then the inverters will supply 230 volt, 50 cycles uh, AC power inside the vehicle, which is a European standard, but if, a, if we build a vehicle for another country, uh, we can adapt it to the situation there. Finally, in this compartment, we have 12 lithium batteries uh, of 12.8 uh, volt, uh, 200 amp hours each, which gives you a total power of 30 kilowatt hours in this vehicle, which is really a lot. In this smaller technical compartment above the batteries you can see uh, solar regulators uh, which are helping the about three kilowatt solar panels to provide maximum output and maximum charge to the batteries. Last but not least in this separate compartment we have a high pressure washer uh, which uh, can be used from outside uh, the rest of the equipment is in an outside storage box. To access the body, we have this entrance door with a step box and uh, we can lower the steps electrically. And even when the step is outside, you can still, you can still close the door and open it so you don't have to move the step all the time. But now let me show you the truck inside. 
So let's go in. Okay, so let me show you the inside of this body. Uh, this body has a lifting roof that gives you enormous height, a lot of air. It feels very spacious. That's a big advantage if you're traveling for a long time. Um, in the front of the body, we have the bathroom with a shower on one side and the toilet and uh, wash basin on the other side. Here we have a cupboard and below we have a washer dryer. On the other side we have the air conditioner, we have a large fridge and a completely separate freezer underneath. This is the kitchen, even so it doesn't look like a kitchen on the first place, but if you open these panels here, you have access to your cooktop and to the sink, so, which is uh, now available as a full kitchen. In the kitchen cabinet, we have lots of drawers, so you can uh, store there a lot of food, uh, but all, also all the tools you need in the kitchen. So there are huge drawers uh, which pull out completely this one here. Here is uh, the waste bin. In the center you have one drawer underneath the sink. You have another big one here which is available for whatever you want to put. And then here you have glasses and cups. Here are the plates and then we have another one down here. We have to lift the step, pull it out. And here we have uh, pots and pans nicely stored so it doesn't rattle while you're driving. There is more storage above the kitchen here and there is also storage above the bathroom. And if you want to watch TV, you just push a button here. So in the entrance area, we have an additional worktop, which folds up and down, like this. We have a shelf for uh, paper rolls, and we have a cabinet for a bread baking machine. Next to this area, we have an oven, a microwave oven and a conventional oven. We have a coffee maker, we have another drawer for whatever you want to like put like to put in and uh, we have a heating system and here also in the entrance area we have the control panel let me show you the bathroom on this side here we have the wash basin, we have storages here and here, and we have the toilet. In the center of the bathroom, we also have an access door to the driver's cab. The door has a double function. It's closing the shower and it's also closing the bathroom. Now I'm sitting in the seating area 
nice U-shaped seating area on a pedestal which is located pretty much in the center of the body. And right behind me, behind this wall, the garage for the vehicle starts. And because the garage is so big and so high, the bed is on top of the garage. But you can still sit on the bed because we have the lifting roof that gives you sufficient height. Above the seating area we have a roof hatch and because it's so high above us uh, it's electrically operated. Hope you enjoyed the new Unicat truck and thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time. Bye bye.